Welcome back to our Pamela's Pro Workout video series, where we take a closer look at the more unique and powerful features of the Pam Pro. Today, we'll explore the exciting off-grid timing functionalities of flex operations. Each output includes a flex operation setting, which can be applied to alter its synchronization to the clock. This unlocks certain off-the-grid functionalities, such as swing, random human fluctuations in timing, or unique up and down ramping of the clock speed. Let's take a look at a few examples of what the flex operations can do. Here we have a basic beat triggered by outputs one and two of Pam. Let's add some timing imperfections to the kick using the human flex operation on output one. We'll do the same on output two that is triggering our snare sound. Let's trigger a perfectly synced hi-hat for reference. When flex is enabled, an amount setting appears following the type page. Let's reduce the percentage of human timing imperfection for both the kick and the snare. Now let's alter the hi-hat by enabling the flex operation on output 3. This time we'll set it to swing to add some groove to the rhythm. To match with the loose feel of the kick and snare, we'll increase the percentage of swing. Finally, let's trigger a chord sample from output 4. Like the hi-hat, we'll add swing via its flex operation. Let's increase the swing even further on the chord sound to further emphasise the looseness of the beat. To throw everything out, let's return to output 2 and increase the human imperfection even further. Keep in mind, flex operations can apply to any wave shape, including smooth LFOs and random, unlocking outputs for more freeform and organic modulation. In this patch, we'll take a look at the ramp and hump flex operations, starting with this simple beat. Let's patch output one to trigger a hi-hat sample. We'll enable the flex operation and set it to ramp up. Notice the output begins to speed up. We can increase its rate of change with the flex amount. The output will continue to increase until it reaches maximum speed. Next, we'll look at ramp down, which does the opposite, slowing the output until it reaches the slowest possible speed. We 
We don't have all day, so we'll continue on to the hump operation. Hump acts like a combination of the two, increasing then decreasing to create a ramp up and down effect at the output. Let's increase the flex amount and listen to the effect it has on the rate of change. Unlike ramp up and down, the hump continues cycling and never stops. For a similar behaviour with the ramp operations, we can use the loop parameter. Setting a loop size will cause the ramp to reset after a number of beats of the master clock. If the ramp reaches maximum and stops, it will start over with the loop. Flex amount still affects the ramp timing, directly interacting with the loop size. Let's switch to ramp down and listen to the subtle effect it has when looped. Ramp and hump operations produce unorthodox timing changes that work great for interesting beats, effects and strange modulation. Thanks for watching this brief introductory look at the flex operations of Pamela's Pro Workout. Of course, off-grid timing functionality can be taken much further when combined with Pam's many other parameters creating subtle and musical change all the way to extreme and chaotic behaviour. Try experimenting with flex operations yourself to unlock new and exciting uses for Pamela's Pro Workout. Subscribe to ALM TV for the latest releases in our Pam Pro series. For more information on Pamela's Pro Workout and the rest of the ALM line, please visit busycircuits.com.